Welcome back everyone. As you can see this week we're going to delve back into my own personal collection and we're going to focus on the TEC or the Elongated Collector Club coin. So let's get things rolling. Previously, when we took a look at my collection, we focused on my Canadian press coins. And in that video, I put out a question to everyone to say, what would you like to see next? And one of the very first comments I got was from Adam, who actually asked to see the TEC coins that I had in my collection. So that's what we're going to do today. And thank you, Adam, for the suggestion. I've spoken about TEC or the Elongated Collectors Club in the past and I personally have been a member for over 10 years and I just absolutely love it. You get a quarterly newsletter, uh, either a digital format like I get, which is just emailed to you, or you can still get a hard copy mailed to you. And along with each newsletter, you actually get a little packet filled with some very unique press coins to add to your collection. And those are what we're going to focus on in this video, specifically the annual membership coin, which is highly sought after, some recruiter coins, as well as some other award coins that members can earn by doing different things for the club. There are plenty of other designs that are donated by other collectors uh, to give out to the other members. There's so many of them with for different events or uh, different things that have gone on in their own personal lives that they want to share with everyone. And that in and of itself could be an entirely separate video, which we might do. So let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a follow up to this TEC coin video and we can go over some of those as well. So we got a lot to get through. So let's take a closer look. Here we go. Let's open up the binder and in the front flap, I've got a bunch of, you know, certificates from TEC for different things, which we'll get into those coins in a few minutes. Uh, I've got some letters from viewers and fellow collectors that I keep in here. Maybe we'll do a future video. I'll go through all of that. Um, but on the other side, starting in some of these holders before the digital version of the newsletter was available, I used to get hard copies. So I've got them all in here. Um, but what we're really here for is going to be the coins. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take them out of the plastic sleeves and I'm also going to take them out of the two by two holders. I think it's just going to help with the glare from my overhead light. So let's make these a little bit easier and we're going to do it magic of camera. Let's do it real quick. There we go. Much better. So we're going to start with the TEC member coins. Uh, these are probably the ones that most of the members look forward to each year. I know I'm always really interested to see what the board comes up with each year and they're a lot of fun so the at the very beginning of the club back in 1966 for i'm not sure exactly how many years but the member coins were pressed on pennies and at some point they converted them and they started using nickels uh you will see down here there is one that's in that is a penny and we'll get to that and i'll give a little more information on it but for the most part all of the rest of them are pressed on nickels each year i started with the club in 2010 and this was my first membership coin and I'm also just to save some time because I'm I don't want this video to go too too long. I'm just going to put down at the bottom of the screen. I'll list the you know who designed the coin, who engraved it, and who rolled it. If I for all the coins and as much of the information as I have, I'll make sure to list it down there so everyone gets credit. But you can see on this one we've got the year. It says member on it, and we've got the club mascot, which you'll see on most of these coins are always you know it's the owl. Twenty eleven. Twenty twelve. And this one actually says the elongated collectors instead of just abbreviating it to TEC. Nice classic dotted border around it. This is a fun one with the owl rolling the design. This is a bit of a unique one just because it was printed uh, as a vertical design for 2014.
2015. And now we get into for, as I mentioned, the club was established back in 1966. So in 2016, it was the club's 50th anniversary. So to commemorate that, they press the member coin on a penny and see if I can show it. They actually asked, they reached out to all the members to try and collect a whole bunch of 1966 pennies. So they actually pressed it on those and you can see the issued date of the coin on the back, which is really cool. It's a nice little touch. Twenty seventeen. Back to a more classic design with the owl and the TEC. Twenty eighteen. And this one from 2019 has a fun little backstory. So this was actually a spin on a classic 1904 elongated design, which is known as On the Pike. And if I can find a picture of that actual original design, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Uh, but when the design was put together for this coin, they wanted to put a little spin on it. So they have that On the Pike design, but they actually put the TEC mascot, the owl, on top of the pike. Here was 2020, another vertical design, which is cool. It's got a nice horseshoe on it. I'm lucky to be a TEC member. That's a nice design. Really like that one. And brand new, hot off the press, is the 2021 TEC member, 55th anniversary design. The next coins I've got here, uh, there's a special anniversary one and then a couple award designs uh, that I earn through the membership with the club. Uh, so the first one we have here was another special design they put out for the 50th anniversary of the TEC News. And you can see the dates on there, 1966 to 2016. Next was my first, let's see if we can get in focus here, Editor's Award for 2013. So I earned this because I actually, as with any member, can actually submit an article to put into the newsletter. Uh, you can be a tip, it can be a story, it can be, you know, an interesting anecdote, anything you want. You can submit it in, and if it gets published, then you'll earn one of these Editor Awards. So for this one, I had actually put an article back. It was January, it was the January and March 2013 issue. And my article was called Baby Moon in Lake George, New York. And I think I told the story before, but right before my daughter, my first daughter was born, our uh, pediatrician, the soon to be pediatrician had told us that we should, now was the time to take a, what they call a baby moon, which is kind of your last little trip just together before the baby arrives. So we went up to Lake George for a nice kind of long weekend stay. And of course I found a whole bunch of press coins up there. So I wrote an article all about the different machines that I came across and I pressed and they were even nice enough to publish a picture of my daughter when she was born. So really special, I really like this coin. This one you can see I actually earned another editor's award in 2014 for submitting another article. If I can find little screenshots of the articles, I'll put them, kind of overlay them so you can just see them. But uh, yeah, if anyone is a member, be sure to write up an article. It doesn't have to be long. It can just be a quick tip on anything. Submit it in. These are really fun to collect. I actually haven't submitted an article in quite a while, um, but I definitely have to do that because it's always fun to share, you know, your travels or, or any special tips you have with the rest of the team. And this last design here, whoops is actually a TEC Merit Award that I got from the president in 2018, Cindy Calhoun. And I got this because uh, every year when the when TEC gets together at the, uh, there's a convention that's held for the World Fair of Money and they always have membership meetings and there's an auction. 
And so I submitted uh, some items to the auction, to be auctioned off to uh, help, you know, get make some money for the club. And so because of that, Cindy was very nice to award me with a merit award coin. As I mentioned, there are a ton of different kinds of special designs that you can earn by being a member. And so this next set are the recruiter designs that you can earn. And so that just means that I was able to, uh, you know, talk to someone or I know I put it out. I, I try not to overdo it in the videos or on the the, uh, the blog, but I like I do think that TEC is really a fantastic resource. I honestly myself wish I had known about it years before I actually signed up in 2010, but I've been collecting much, you know, way before that. So I wish I had known about it sooner. So that's why I'm always trying to advertise it whenever possible. And when a new member, if they hear about it from me and they sign up, they can put my member number down or they just mention, you know, David's coin travels or something like that. So I actually get credit as being a recruiter. And when you do that, and it's again, it's available to anybody. So if you know anyone that collects coins or you come, I, I always just bring extra uh, sign up forms when I go out to the parks or any place, just in case I see someone that's actually using a machine, I'll mention it to them. And a lot of time they might actually be interested in signing up. And when I do that, you do earn some coins. So here's the first one I earned back in, you can see it's 2016, was my very first recruiter design, or we'll call it a recruiter badge. And then in 2018, and I'll actually show this other one here. So what happened was is they actually print them on different denominations. So the top one is obviously a penny and the bottom one is a dime, I believe. Uh, and what happens is that just means if you earn this, it's because you recruited more than one person that year. So the more people that you're able to recruit into the club, you could potentially get, you know, two, three, or maybe even four different uh, of the same design, just on different denomination coins, which is a lot of fun. And that happened as well in 2019. So this actually might be a nickel. And this is the recruiter badge I earned last year, 2020. This will be the last kind of set of coins that we're gonna go over in this video, but don't worry, like I said, we'll be coming back to do another follow-up with more TEC coins. These ones are gonna all be around uh, the design contest. So each year, the club puts out a design contest and within your newsletter or even the digital copy you'll get kind of a blank uh, elongated coin page and there'll be a topic or a subject and anyone is any member can come up with their own design they submit it and then the board will actually review them and judge them and the winning design that's chosen by the board will actually be produced and then given out to all the members. So these are coins that members have actually submitted over the years and were actually made and distributed out, which I think is so cool. I have actually submitted a few times. I have not won yet, but I'm still looking for that win sometime in the future. Uh, and when we get into it, I'll show you which ones beat me out. The first one we have here is actually from 2009, which was before I was actually a member. So I believe they must have just, when I signed up, they probably had some extra coins available and they just sent me uh, I seem to remember getting a, an extra pack with some fun little designs so that was pretty cool 2009 design winner uh, at the bottom of the screen I will list what the topic or the subject was for the contest and I'll also list the each design winner who engraved it and who rolled it if I can uh, find that information So here's the 2010. The subject of this one was the literature of Mark Twain. Two thousand and eleven. Benjamin Franklin in search of a better world. I always like this design. This was the 2012 
The topic was the novels of Charles Dickens, satire and social justice. I mean, me being the theme park fan, this 2013 design, Oh, the Places Will Go. That's a great one. For 2014, celebrating space exploration and science fiction. And here's 2015, which the subject was not all best friends or people. This was actually the first year that I submitted the design. And if I can find my design, I'll put it somewhere up on the screen so you can see it. But I don't blame them for not picking my design. This is a pretty nice one. Here's 2016, which was celebrating our national parks. This was also a year that I submitted a design, but did not win. But that's okay. This is another, I mean, this is a fantastic design. Really detailed. Really nice. One of these years, I will win, I promise. It's 2017. Fun train design with a, not sure if you can see it there, but it's actually got a press coin machine on the back of the train. This was 2018. Hidden treasures. And here in 2019 was the first year that they actually would choose two winners. So there was one that was a regular member uh, design winner. And then they also started doing a winner for the junior memberships, which is just the younger kids that are members. So this was the winner for the regular membership. The owl has landed. That's a fun one. And here was the 2019, the junior design winner, which that's really cool too. That's a lot of fun. One giant leap for mankind. And then last year, 2020, this was the regular membership winner. This was the subject was uh, a day at the zoo. Some fun characters in there. And here's the 2020 Junior Member Design Contest winner. It's a lot of fun, that's really cool. So you see, you never know. Be sure to, if you are a member or if you're gonna become a member, be sure to do this. It doesn't hurt, you know, it's, it's all for fun and you might actually win, which I said, I'm still, I'm no designer by any means, but it's always fun to submit a design and uh, you might just get picked one year. So be sure to fill it out and uh, you know, We'll look forward to seeing, I, I will be so proud to say one of my penny pals has designed a coin for the TEC and won the design contest. So be sure to let me know if you do win in any future year. Hopefully some of these maybe have enticed you to join TEC if you aren't already a member. Uh, in case you need it, I've actually put a link down in the description below to the club website as well as the membership sign up form in case you want to go ahead and join. Feel free to mention that you heard it from me. I'm always looking to add another recruiter coin to my collection, but in all honesty, you don't really have to do that. I'm just more than happy to share the club with all of you or anyone that I know is interested in elongated coins. As I said at the beginning of the video, I really wish I had known about this club way before I actually signed up because I find it's a fantastic community. The other members are really amazing. I've met some fantastic friends and it's just a really great resource for anyone interested in elongated coins and can really help with your collection. I've got other videos scheduled to delve back into my personal collection. So if you're not already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those upcoming videos. Also, leave me a comment down below of what you would like to see next. I've got binders with press coins from New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, California, Florida, 
and many more. So I'd love to get your suggestions of what you would like to see next. And you never know, you might get a shout out just like Adam did at the beginning of the video. Thank you for coming by and visiting again this week. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Thank you as always, and keep on pressing.